see the other side so like you saw like where I sit and uh, do these videos so now you have a better idea of like what I see like when I look up and I see my dog picture and um, kind of got a better idea of what's behind me now too so oh
sense of the past shouldn't matter. You know, I think honestly, like, obviously we all know slavery was a horrible thing, but um, I think what happened was when we freed the slaves, you know, they were just free, but they were poor. You know, they were just as poor as the poorest white person living in that time, which there were in that time. And, you know, they think about Abraham Lincoln. electricity. There were no refrigerators. I mean, people were poor, you know, and so, and even, and so then the freed slaves were poor, you know. The, the saying, piss poor, if you've never heard the saying, like, he's piss poor, it's an older saying, but piss poor was called piss poor because people used to sell their piss to the leather tanners. And then when you have the saying, don't have a pot to piss in, that's because some people so poor, they weren't just piss poor, they didn't need to have a pot they could piss in to sell their piss. They had nothing to carry their piss in, but if you didn't know, they used to tan leather with urine, and um, so people would sell their urine, and uh, it's just it's strange, but my point is, is that everybody was poor, and everybody suffered, and life is hard. I mean, it's so hard. I mean, I am, I've had so many times, I mean, I've been so close to wanting to give up over the of my life just through struggles and working 70 hours a week and I, you know times of feeling sorry for myself because I just I, I didn't have what I wanted you know but I knew if I just kept working hard and suffered through it I would get there but I think that there is a, a big part of society that just believes that um, they just believe that life is so hard so they think it's because of their lot in life or like you know it's not it's because life is just hard life is so hard i mean you might think some people have it easy like rich people sure some guy's got a private jet and you know his parents gave him all his money never has to work ever again because he's got millions of dollars okay i, I don't think even for him life is super easy you know I think just life in general, I mean, you gotta, you gotta have your health, you know, you've gotta have peace of mind, you gotta have, you know, relationship stress, you know, like if you love somebody and they break your heart, they cheated on you, oh, if you've ever felt that, it's just a horrible feeling, or like, um, you know, if you get sick and, you know, you're laying in bed with a fever, it's just horrible. Sometimes they spend too much or get themselves in financial trouble or they spend as much as they have, you know, just barely squeaking by, kind of paycheck to paycheck. Their just paychecks are a lot bigger or their budgets are a lot bigger, but they still have the stress of that, you know. And it's like, I don't, I, I maybe used to be a little bit jealous of rich people, but now I'm like, I don't even want to be rich. I don't want to be like those people. I mean, I have a, a nice home and I have a nice car, but I don't have like a Ferrari at all. I don't have a house somewhere else, like a winter or summer house. I just have this house that I worked really hard for. I worked 26 years in one career, but even before that, I was working in another career for a couple of years. And then, um, it, even when I was just young, I was mowing yards and I was shoveling snow. I was doing whatever I could to make money. I just knew that I, I knew money wasn't going to make me happy, but I knew I wouldn't be happy without it. And I think that's just a lot of people's problem in the world, just financial struggles. It's so hard to be financially disciplined, and they don't really teach us in school what to do about finances. So I just, um, I don't know, I just hate that so much of the world is just fighting and arguing, and we've just, if we could just look at where we were and where we are, we've come so far. We're doing the right thing. Nothing is going to happen overnight. And we can't just try to break the entire system and try to start all over. We have to just keep going. And these talks of revolutions, and it's just, it's just horrible. It's so disruptive. And it's just unnecessary. We have tried everything else. This is the only way that works. This is 
reading by candlelight um, it's just really 